John Sewell with Ingamer.com coming to you from our gym Existence Athletics here in Denver, Colorado. Testing out a bike jersey from our friends over at Cora. Yeah, cool. It's a 350 weight jersey that is awesome. I've been using it for about the last two and a half months, uh, biking, committing to work and mountain biking, as well as hiking and actually using it for everyday use here in our gym. A lot to cover in the sizing, features and functions, so let's get into it. First, we'll start with sizing as we always do. I am six foot, 220 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. This is a men's double extra large, so XXL. That's right, I had to size up for this. Um, it runs a little bit trim. And my friend Matt sent this over and I think the double XL was a great call. It's not too big in the chest and it's definitely not too big in the stomach. And I'm not, terribly large again 33 inch waist and this fits my 45 year old body really well the length on the arms is absolutely fantastic it does come with the thumb loops and so check that out that's really really great coverage so when you're biking you know you get a little bit extra warmth on top of the gloves in case you forget your gloves and you're commuting home and the temperature's dropped you got that bonus 350 grams of yak wool extra insulation and that's actually I don't usually use the thumb holes but when I am biking it is nice to just have that bonus coverage up to the knuckles there keeping the wind chill down so conditions and temperatures I've tested it in here in Denver and in the front range of Colorado temperatures in the upper 30s to today it is currently 61 which is pretty warm for March <laughs> it's very warm for March here in Colorado but um, given that I'm usually commuting at about 12 to 15 miles per hour on the, this bike here, and I've had a review on the Quiet Cat e-bike, of course. Uh, it's my favorite one I've tested this year out of several. Um, but being an e-bike, I can sustain that for, you know, a few miles, no problem. And when you get up to those, that speed, you do generate some wind resistance, and it's nice to have something to take the chill off. Now going to the colder temperatures, which a lot of you're gonna be using this for in the shoulder seasons and probably even winter in a part of a system, perhaps a hard shell or a wind jacket over this, you can absolutely get this down to the 40s or 30s depending on your cold tolerance. I love the cold personally. So for me, I actually quite enjoy it. It's actually my feet <laughs> that get the coldest. So I have reviews on some, some interesting uh, fat bike and biking in general shoes coming up, so stay tuned for that. But um, okay, let's talk about the features. So you get reflective hits with the zipper, um, 350 weight, like I might've mentioned, yak wool. Now yak wool, if you don't know what that is, it is a wool that, well, comes from yaks, as you might imagine. But what's unique about yak wool? Well, a few things. Yaks live higher than merino sheep, um, as far as I know, and Unlike with Merino, which we are big fans of Merino, we have tons of reviews. I'm wearing a Merino shirt right now. Um, the, one of the, you know, they're sheared. The sheep is sheared to get the, the animal hair, the wool. Now with Yaks, we actually, we actually met with the founder of Cora, came in from Bali and did an interview with us. Um, fantastic man, really cool what he's doing with Yak wool. He actually employs nomads to go and collect the hair that comes off the yak. So the yak shed the wool naturally, so there's no humans involved in shearing or cutting of hair. The yaks are just up there, 14, 15,000 feet, hanging out, being yaks in the Himalayas. They shed their layer, uh, their, their fur, their wool, and these nomads go and collect it. And it's not a very efficient process. You know, it's not like they're farmed and put in a corral and they're shaved and they get a bunch of wool at one time. So. It's pretty, you know, kind of luxurious or elusive in that manner, in my, in my opinion. You know, something like a cashmere. So uh, something to consider when you're looking at the price point. Uh, this jacket comes in at, I believe, 250 US, although at the time of this review, it's half off, which is why I was kind of wanting to speed this review up to get to you in time in case you're looking for it and you see it on sale, you're like, oh, 115 bucks for this thing? Yeah, at that price, it's a no-brainer. It's still at the two, 230, 250 price point. It's a lot for what you get. Okay, so 350 weight, uh, as you might know with wool, that's fairly thick, right? Yet this still breathes very well. And again, 
how I've used it is not just for biking, uh, but for everyday use, for hiking as a mid-layer when snowboarding, uh, camping in it, uh, casual use at home, just like cozying up during the winter. It's been really nice. Um, but yeah, let's get to the fit. Like I mentioned, this is a double XL. Um, you get elastic in the rear, so there's elastic band right there, and that helps keep it onto your rear when you are in the bike position. As you can tell, it has shorter hem in the front, and I wore a, one of my favorite shirts on purpose to show you. The shirt is not typical; it's not super long, nor is it super short, but there is the shirt, just for reference, and you can see the coverage cuts off right here. So something to consider if you are looking for a fashion statement, you want to tuck your shirt in and not show the front tuck, um, something to think about. But the rear coverage is fantastic, as you can see. Even when my arms are stretched out, the coverage is great. In the rear, you get three sizable dump pockets for whatever goodies, gel, sandwich. Uh, my friend Modest, our fellow engagement teammate, keeps a bike pump back there. So you get three of those pockets, and they are deep pockets. There are no hand pockets, there's no Napoleon pockets, there's no internal drop pockets. It is as you see right here. Um, hopefully me going over how it looks, how it fits and functions is helpful. If it was, the thumbs up's appreciated. We'll have more content from Core, so stay tuned. Consider subscribing to Engearment's YouTube channel, link right there. Sean Sewell, owner and director Stoke for Engearment. Till next time, take care.